What's up, everyone? This is Christian Duke. You're watching Strength Addicts here on Instagram Live, brought to you courtesy of BlackstoneLabs.com, the holy grail of bodybuilding supplements. Guys, if you're looking for a great way to get involved in the fitness industry, there is no better way to do so than by applying to join the Blackstone Labs Legion. Do so today, like right now. Don't wait. Do it right now. There is no better time to do stuff than the present. Also, big thank you to our supporting sponsor, TitanMedicalCenter.com, for all your hormonal therapies, your ECA Stack Plus, which everybody is talking about. Anna Maria's in the house. I will bring you on here shortly. But more about TitanMedicalCenter.com. They've got glutathione. They've got amino therapies. They've got medical weight loss. So many people are trying to lose weight. They don't know how. Get with TitanMedicalCenter.com. Before we bring Anna Maria on, I would just like to say what I had said on the initial take. And that is, I've got to tip my hat to the Blackstone Labs Legion. You know, when we look back at Factory Madness, and I know Factory Madness already happened, and I know that we already won, and I know that some people might say, well, that's history. Well, no, it's not, because guys, whenever I get asked, how do we beat Redcon? That's got four times as many followers than us supposedly on Instagram. How do we beat Revive? How do we beat Axe and Sledge? How do we beat Optimum Nutrition? We beat them because of the Blackstone Labs Legion. We beat them because the Legion was posting reels and posting stories and posting posts, spreading the word on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, on TikTok, everywhere, answering the call. But not just to one battle, to every single battle. That is our secret weapon, the Blackstone Labs Legion. So I cannot say enough about the Legion. These interviews for me are so cool because I get to interact with you guys. I get to like know you on a whole different level. And everybody that watches these interviews knows you on a different level. No other company is doing what we're doing here at Blackstone Labs. We are trendsetters. And so I tooted my own horn. I tip my hat to you. I think you guys are awesome. And listen, I think this is just the beginning. Because I think anytime there's a challenge, anytime there's a contest, be it at Nutrition Factory, Tiger Fitness, Bodybuilding.com, wherever Blackstone Labs supplements are sold, you know, even individual retailers. If an individual retailer in Peoria, Illinois, or El Paso, Texas has a contest, Blackstone Labs Legion is going to jump into that contest and steamroll over everybody because that's how we roll. So uh, I'd like to invite Anna Maria on, and we're going to have a great, great interview. She's awesome. Just moved down to South Florida. So this is going to be real cool. What's up? Hello? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Motor mouth. I mean, I was just talking like like I just like snorted <laughs> duck. But uh, yeah. So um, first and foremost, uh, the big news. You just moved down to South Florida about six weeks ago, you said? Yeah, six weeks ago. Very cool. Where from? Um, from Chicago, Illinois. Very cool. And here I was just talking about Peoria. Very cool. I know. I was just thinking that. I'm like... Of course, no disrespect to the amazing people of Peoria, but Chicago is a much cooler town than Peoria. But um, I'm actually from the suburbs, not actually Chicago. Oh, cool. I just tell people Chicago so they know what I'm talking about. Southwest suburbs. I grew up in Hickory Hills. Okay. Okay. I was going to ask you if you're from the glamorous North Shore, but yeah, that's like very, very uh, ritzy. And and it's kind of like Boca. Are you in Boca? Um, I live in Deerfield. Deerfield. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. So... There's just so much to talk about with you because just today, I don't know if you, I mean, I follow you and it's like, you're always posting like really, really cutting edge content, whether it's like bikinis, whether it's training, I mean, it's just like a lot of stuff. Um, And I always tell people like, I think that's probably the best way to grow an audience. People are always wondering, well, how do I grow an audience? It's like consistency and posting, I would think. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Like posting all the time, like, and just like being yourself. Yeah, you know, because, I, yeah, I think that's super important because, like, a lot of times, you know, like, for example, somebody might, you know, uh, go to Derek Milton's Instagram and be like, this guy is so freaking cool, you know, and then they meet him and he's so freaking cool. But it's like, it's where there's the disconnect. It's like where, like, somebody's really cool on Instagram or really cool on their YouTube and then you meet him and you're like, uh, like, who is this? You know what I mean? It's like they, they look, the physique is there, but the personality is not. So I just think yeah. it's so important to be consistent on Instagram and then in person. And, and I think that's really, I, I don't really think that there's a huge science in growing an audience. I just think, like you said, it's being consistent and it's being honest, you know? Yeah, literally just being yourself. Like show everybody like the ups, the downs, the weirdness. People love that. Mm-hmm. Now you and I, I'm, I'm going to throw out our phobia because it's our phobia. 
we both have it and it's blood right like you said you cannot sand blood right i if i have a cut on my finger like i literally can't look at it it's so bad I will, and we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna jump off this topic very quickly because then i will get lightheaded and i'm gonna like totally pass out but i have <laughs> yeah it's called um what is it the hell is it called it, it uh, uh oh my gosh um and I, I just had this and anyways like when they draw blood i just you know it's it's for me it's just extremely extremely uncomfortable and i can't control it I, I really can't it's just one of those things and i don't know where i came from to be honest with you and it's not other people's blood so much as my own i just it's something about my own i don't know mine's all blood even on tv oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> i don't know what it is and i've never and, and i used to like i used to get blood draws it used to be totally fine but like uh, my uh supporting sponsor is titan medical and I've often talked to PJ about, you know, I'd love to get on, you know, HRT or TRT because I'm 42 years old, you know, and I'm vegetarian for over 25 years. So I probably have the testosterone of like a senior citizen, you know, but the thing is, is like, you have to get a blood draw to get on hormonal therapies. I'm like, yeah, I'm good on that. I'll wait. And it, but that's how scared I am of it. But if, if they can just hit me with a frying pan, just knock me out and then do it, that'd be fine. So, <laughs> so tell me a little bit about competing though, because like, I know that like so many folks that start out competing, when you first started out, it sounds like you, you kind of had like a rough start, like maybe, I don't know if you were working with a coach or you were working on your own, but before you met PJ, PJ would go on to coach you. But before all that, talk to me about those first initial shows that you did. Okay. So my first show ever was 2018 and my brother had, had been competing like since like 2015. And I would always go to his shows and I would see the girls and be like, that looks fun. I want to do that. So then like, randomly like start of 2018 there was a show and i think it was in march it was in ottawa illinois i was like i'm gonna do that show with you i'm gonna do that show so i like didn't have a coach i didn't know how to work out i wasn't a personal trainer yet i just like i got my fitness pal and like set my calories and i was like all right i'm gonna do this show and i like got a heart monitor and i would wear it and i'm like i'm gonna burn a thousand calories a day and I'm going to use my fitness pal and eat 1,700 calories, and I'm going to do this show. So I I did that, and I, like, watched YouTube to, like, learn how to pose. Like, it was it was just, like, horrendous. <laughs> I want to find the video and share it of, like, my posing. I'm, like, throwing my arms around, like, I'm, like on stage. Yes. Okay. So I did that show, and then after that, I was like, okay, yeah, that was fun. But, like, that was expensive, and, like, nah, it's, like, too much. Like, I'm not going to do it anymore. So then the next year came along and I got a coach. So my first coach was um, my ex-boyfriend's like family friend. Um, so she coached me through my second two shows. Um, I did Illinois State and then I did the Grand Prix, which is where I met PJ. Um, so even with that, like she was like my online coach. Like I, while I prepped for those shows, like I was just like working out like how like the noobs work out like just like point a to b like i didn't know how to like isolate muscles like i didn't do any hamstring workouts i didn't even like know how to activate my hamstrings like i didn't do like any like glute work i just i didn't know um so they were just like pretty basic workouts and i mean my physique changed like i look i looked good on stage i just didn't have like the muscle i needed like in my legs like i carry all my weight in my legs so PJ saw me at the Grand Prix and I guess he told Claudia that he thought I was going to win the overall. He's like, that girl's going to win the overall. And he saw my brother and he was like, that guy's going to win the overall. And then he found out that we were siblings and he was like, oh, that's so cool. Like he saw us backstage, like, cause we both won the overall. We were like, oh my God, we won the overall. Like what the heck? Like, this is so crazy. This is real. Like we're like crying backstage. Like, both of us are just like noobs. Like we're just like do it because it's fun. So then PJ had reached out to me and Rocco on Instagram, and like he was like, "Yeah, you did so good. Like you were shining on stage. Like you should go on to try to get your pro card." And actually, a judge from Illinois had told me like if I did any more shows in 2019, like she would laugh at me. She was like, "You need you need way more muscle. Like you cannot do more shows. Like I'll laugh at you." So I told PJ, I'm like, yeah, I can't do any more shows. Like, um, I need more muscle. Like, I don't, I can't do that. And he's like, really? Because I think you can. And I think you can do really good. He's like, what if someone came in and said they would fly you out to compete uh, at NPC Universe in five weeks? So I was like, okay, <laughs> I'll do it. 
So then it was like crazy because then like that same week, um, another coach reached out to me. This was my coach that I had like after my first online coach. Um, and he, he taught me so much. Like he taught me like how to actually work out, like how to activate my, my muscles. Like I would train with him like once or twice a week. Um, so I worked with him up until the universe and like I put on a good amount of muscle. Like I looked good at universe. I ended up getting fourth place at like my first national show. And like at the time I didn't really realize like how good that was. I was just like, oh man, I didn't get my pro card. This sucks. Like I didn't realize like girls right. go to these shows and don't place a lot. Like I'm like, a well, I didn't, I didn't get my pro card. Like I suck. Like, uh, like, you know, <laughs> I didn't realize like what a big deal it was to place at that show. So from there I took like a baby off season, like not even like, eight weeks and then I got back on prep for um Miami um and then my previous coach dieted me down like so hard like I looked like a skeleton like in at Miami like I like I looked worse at Miami than I did at Universe so I ended up doing really bad in Miami like like third call outs like horrible right. yeah. um so then after that I like kind of just like had like a breakdown like I'm like what is my life without competing like I don't want to diet anymore this is too much because I was doing like three hours of cardio a day four hours almost like I just I hated it I hated bodybuilding I hated it so I took like some time off like I didn't work out I was like I need to get my head right before I can like worry about like my body you know and, like competing like, I'm, like I, I was gonna oh. say yeah just to interject real quick I was gonna say that that I hear that a lot from you know competitors this is no knock on coaches, but there are some coaches that really their whole go to their whole approach is just starve and overtrain, especially uh, the bikini competitors. I don't know why they do that, but it's, I, I think it's a, it's a lack of experience. And they actually the whole thing with metabolic damage, a lot of people, it's a big debate whether it, it's a thing or it isn't. But I mean, I, I think it is in the sense that if you're basically putting a competitor on a starvation diet and then expecting them to perform at 110% in the gym, they're going to burn out. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened to me. I, I burned out. I, I hated my life, like from Miami prep, like I, I would like go to work. I was like taking Adderall and I was like drinking all these energy drinks. I was just like, I could not be a person. Like it was, it was bad. But um, so then after that, I kind of just like did my own thing for a little bit. And I ended up reaching out to PJ. And I was just like, okay, I have a question. Um, I don't know how you'd feel about this. If, if it's no, I understand. But like, would you be interested in coaching me? Like, I'm looking for a coach. And he was like, well, like, that's a huge commitment. Like, we will talk about it. So we talked about it and like he agreed he was like all right like we can do some damage he's like i love you so much and i know you can do so well so like i'm down like let's do this and i'm like okay let's do this so he put me on a reverse diet um i ended up getting my period back i didn't get my period for like two years i got my period back within like three months um like fell in love with the gym again like barely any cardio a ton of food um just like his approach was just so different than what I was used to. Like my also one thing too, my previous coach like was obsessed with my weight. Like he was just like, how much do you weigh? Like he didn't even care about pictures. He was just like, how much do you weigh? And I'm like, I don't, <laughs> what about my, my glutes? You know, like PJ is like the opposite. He's like, okay, well like what's going on in your life? Like, are you stressed out? How did you sleep? Do you have your period? Like, he's like, you look good. You're like, if I'm holding water, he'll like, let me know. But like, he's not, it's not all about my weight. So I have like, even now I have like a bad, bad relationship with the scale. Like I don't weigh myself. Like I'll text PJ my weight and like, I'm, that's it on Fridays. That's it. I don't want to know, <laughs> you know, it, I, I messed up like with the scale. Like I, well, you, you didn't mess up with the scale and I, I'm not trying to throw shade at your former coach, but you didn't mess up with the scale. You know, you're, you're the previous coach was, like you said, obsessed with, with the number on the scale. And that means really nothing on stage. I mean, unless you're unless you're competing in a, in a, in a division that is there is a weight cutoff. Like if you're competing in 212, yeah, and you're 215, well, that's a problem. Or you're a, a, yeah. you know, like classic physique or something. But those are both male divisions. But what, when it comes down to it, the, you know, it, 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 I totally understand what you're saying. And, and, yeah. it, and that was the thing, too. Like for Miami, he was like, I want you at like X weight. 
So like I killed myself to get down to like X weight and like I gotta like pull up the pictures. Like I looked like a skeleton. Like mm. I looked scary. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm sure you didn't look scary, but, but but I'm just saying that I know what you're saying. It's like, and it's like for what? Okay, so I weigh the, the number, the magic number. But like, yeah. I feel like crap, and I didn't I didn't win my pro card. So, okay. Um, and so with PJ though, you said that your metabolism. He was able to get your metabolism back. I know you, you said your menstrual cycle came back. Two years. That's a long time not to have it, and uh -huh. that's your thing. With women, that like, you know, I'm not a coach. You know, of course I'm not a coach, but I just think like it's it should be it should be common sense you should you know coaches should have some understanding of human biology and physiology if you uh you know if a woman ha if her body fat is too low it starts to cause her hormonal imbalance and and that's a serious thing you can't diet a girl the way you diet a guy you just you just can't yeah exactly you know? and that's the thing with pj like i knew pj had coached like so many women and mm. like if I'm going to work with anybody, like, obviously, like, he's my sponsor. Like, I talk to him daily. I'm like, he'd be the perfect coach. Like, I would see him with, like, the ab chick and, like, his other clients. And I'm like, man, like, I'm jealous. Like, I want that. Hmm. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to see. The worst thing you right. take, oh, you know. <laughs> no, and, and I think I think you were right to be, to be uh, you know, cautious when you asked him in the sense that, you know, he is highly sought after. And, you know, and like yeah. you said, it's a major okay. commitment. It's a major, major commitment. So, uh, Omni Muscle says, I'm happy you sought out help. And in a sense, this is a men uh, well, mental abuse. And any bodybuilder knows that is more mental than physical. Yeah, I mean, PJ is awesome. Yeah, I mean, it really is. I mean, honestly, I don't know. I think, I don't know if you were traumatized with the scale, but it, it's, it's sure kind of sounds like it a little bit. But, but like, what I think is really interesting is that you said, uh, you told me off the record that uh, not only did PJ help you with your metabolism, but in helping you with your metabolism, you also gained the muscle that you so badly wanted to gain. So it's like it, everything really panned out. Yeah, that was the thing too. Like he, we just like focused like on my weaknesses. Like so, like my shoulders were my weakness and my glutes and hamstrings. So like, PJ like made me a shoulder workout and a glute hamstring workout, and like I've been doing those workouts, just like focusing on progressive overload and like so basic, like you know, like pyramids, like drop sets, like iso holds, like like the most basic. But the basic stuff is what works. Like. Yep. Just really, really focusing. And that's just what I've been doing. Like I've been doing the same workouts for months and like my body's been changing like crazy. Like people see me and they're like, Whoa, you got jacked. I'm like, Oh, thank you so much. Cause like, I'm always like the skinny girl, like the lanky girl. So people telling me I'm jacked. I'm like, yes. No, that's yes. awesome. That's yeah. awesome. And, and, and just the fact that you said earlier, you know, it, it may just be the basics, but look, if it, if it ain't broke, why fix it? I mean, sometimes exactly. the basics really do it's render exactly crazy, crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, and there's and and you know, with some coaches, it really is a competition of what's crazier, what's more obscure, what's more exotic. Like, what's the track record for some of these methodologies? There is none. You you are the guinea pig to see whether or not it works or not. Mm -hmm. That's that's no way to go. Uh, I don't think so. But yeah, so, go ahead. No, no, no. I'm sorry. And so from there, so let, let's go from there. Like, what what happens from there? like working with PJ. Now you're in South Florida. I mean, you're a rock stro from Blackstone. So I would imagine, I don't know if you've been to that uh, HQ yet or not, but I, I oh, hope yeah. you go I've been there. It is awesome. It's, and it's like so cool to me. Like, I mean, I've been like sponsored by Blackstone now for what, like a year and a half. And like, it's still like every single month when I like get my stuff and like whenever I go there and I'm like in PJ's office with him, like talking with him, I'm like, is this real life? Like what? Right. I'm just like, right. what, what, how did this happen to me? Like, and it, it literally just happened because I was just doing what I love doing, being myself. And, you know, just like the, the good energy just came back. It was just like the coolest thing ever. And even when I'm there, it's like, like you were talking about before, like, it's like, we're just like one big family. Like everybody just like wants to make each other feel welcome and comfortable and like share each other's journeys and just like be there to support one another and like that's so big like no other companies do that so it's just like it's so awesome to be a part of a company like that no for sure you know and there's there's companies that have you know bigger ambassador and bigger sponsored athlete programs than ours but really uh, honestly they're they're just emails and um you know instagram handles it, it, like they don't do this 
You know, they certainly, you know, don't get coached by the owner that you, you, you know, we can each email PJ whenever we want to. You can't do that with these big companies. It's impossible. And Blackstone Labs is a big company. It's just like you said, we're just so different than everybody else. I think yeah. it's great. So tell me about your two best friends. I, I want to hear about your two best friends. Okay. So my two best friends, one's here. She's a sleepy girl. My dog, Lucy. Okay. So me and Lucy literally packed up the car six weeks ago and drove down to Florida together. Just us. Mm -hmm. Figure it out when we get here. So my dog is my life. And then my mom. I love my mom so much. We FaceTime every single day during breakfast. <laughs> very good. Um, leaving her was like very, very hard for me. But um, I see her every month still. Plan visits. We FaceTime. And what's good is you live you live near major airports and and you know yeah Chicago, exactly it's it's Fort Lauderdale is like twenty minutes away at the airport yeah yeah so I mean it's like I mean you know to Chicago is probably like a direct flight is probably like probably under three hours which is nothing. yeah it's two and a half it's not bad yeah it's nothing I have the and, Southwest and, card right there you go it's perfect Southwest yeah. is amazing I love Southwest but you know the thing too is like tell me about getting in the car though like because that that's some hardcore blank you know i don't want to say you don't want to curse but you know that's some uh that's some hardcore sugar honey iced tea you know what i mean because like we're not talking driving you know half an hour you know you came from hours. illinois and then and then florida is a peninsula like so you came down this whole basically the whole peninsula like, so what were you thinking while you were driving i mean i was just i was just so excited to like get here um I live with one of my really good friends from high school. Um, mm. So I was just excited to get here. Like, so she actually moved here five years ago and I was going to move with her five years ago and I backed out because I was, I didn't want to leave my family. I didn't want to leave my boyfriend. I'm like, I can't, I can't do it. So at the time I was 21, 26 now. And like me and my boyfriend broke up, like, all the COVID guidelines in Illinois, they were just so ridiculous. Like the gyms were ridiculous. Like it was just like so much going on. Like, I'm like, why am I here? This sucks. Like this sucks. It's snowing. It's cold. I hate this. I'm like, why am I here? Mm -hmm. What I'm doing right here, I can do in Florida. Cause I'd make most of my money online. And then I bartend because I literally think it's fun. And I'm just trying to like save money. Cause I want to buy a house down here. Like I have my condo at home that I'm renting out. I want to buy a house down here. So I'm like, I'm just trying to like make money and have, have a good time. I'm like, I'm not having a good time. This fucking sucks. I'm like cleaning the snow off my car. I'm like freezing. I'm like, oh, I hate this. That's so I, funny. Like, like I was scared to say shit and you're dropping F-bombs. I should just say whatever I want to say. But oh yeah, my God, that's great. I'm so yeah. bad with swearing. No, it's okay. It's totally fine. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> why stay in Illinois where it's like dreadfully cold and then yeah. you know, all these like draconian COVID regulations because it was pretty, you know, I'm not supposed to talk politics. I made a promise to PJ, but I will say though, and I'm a Democrat, so I can say this, but the blue states are, have the most ass backward laws and regulations and they throw gym owners in, the, in, in jail and it's just like craziness. And so Illinois was, you know, just about as bad as Michigan or New York. So yeah, I, you know, Florida, they still have all the precautions and they still mm -hmm. have all the cleanliness, but they, like business is allowed to open. You know what I mean? Like you yeah. can still feel like, like they had the Olympia there. They have the Arnold Classic there now. It's like, it's a place to be, you know? Yeah. yeah like I, I, was working, <laughs> I was working at Hooters. That's so, so much for the sleeping. Yeah. I know it's because my roommate's home. I was working at Hooters in, um, in Illinois and it was 25% capacity. 25%. That's wow. 25 people in the entire restaurant. So literally, like, I'm at the bar and I have five chairs. I'm like, this That's is crazy. so nope. stupid. Yeah, and then in states like New York, they expect the, the restaurant owners to thank, to say, oh, thank you so much for yeah. letting me have 25. Meanwhile, the place is going, you know, bankrupt, you know. And it's like people wanted to come in, too. People would come in and we'd have to tell them, like, sorry, you can't come in. Like, That's sanity. That sorry, is so you can't stand with your beer. Sorry, you right. need a reservation. Like, it, it was just like. It was just so stupid. I'm like, yeah, it is. It is. And, and, and then I actually got kicked out of LA Fitness for wearing my mask, like, like not on my nose. So stupid. Like, they guess... literally kicked me out. I'm like, oh. yeah, it is. So I, I just got like pushed out of the state. I'm like, fuck this. I know. It's crazy. No, it's crazy. It, it really is. It really is crazy. And like, uh, we, I know of pros that, you know, had contests that, thank God, weren't canceled, but they had to like, like, basically, like, you'd almost think that they were like doing a drug buy. Like they, like your friends would let them in the gym, but they'd have to go super late at night and almost like, you know, like, 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 you know, tread in the shadows there. It's like pretty, it's really stupid. 
But yeah. tell me, tell us a little bit about, because most people are going to watch this on replay, about your personal training. Because I know that you do personal training, and I know that you said you do bartending. And I, and I have to agree. I think bartending is hella fun. And it's fun because you're, you're kind of like a party planner. You're a best friend. And you're like a psychiatrist. Yeah. Like all Because some people go to the bar and drink and just pour out their problems and expect like, you to have an answer for them. Well, that's the thing. I feel like that's why I like it so much. So, like, my friends are all, like, workout people. Like, I don't have, like... Like my circle is so small. It's just people that people that are just like me that work out, you know, that meal prep, that go to sleep early, that wake up early. That's but that's my friends, you know. So when I work at the bar, it's like I get to meet all these people and like have like these like connections with people that I would never connect with. Like it's just so cool to me. Like old people, young people, like guys, girls, like old ladies like whatever like i just love like that human connection because like it's so cool because we you can literally connect with anybody if you just try so yeah and that's and why i, I just, love I, bartending it's so fun to me no for sure and and i, and I just, I just want to like hone in on what jared said there uh jared brown call center manager and of course like the man in the black salon of Legion. but you know he said small circles are, are uh cool good i thought i thought he said gold for sale but same thing but it, it's true because like when you say your your circle is people that lift and people that meal prep, these are people that you can relate to, that you can identify with, that understand what you're going through. I, I, I think it would be probably like 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 torture to have a circle of people that know nothing about fitness and for you to have to constantly explain to them yeah. what it That's is you're doing, crazy. especially during prep, you know? Yeah, especially when you're prepping, exactly. People, mm -hmm. people just think you're crazy. Like, I'm just like, yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm crazy in a good way. Yeah. So the personal training, this is interesting because, you know, you, you and I, I don't want to throw shade at any coach, but you, you've had some experiences as a competitor with different coaches. Yeah. You've seen the good, you've seen the other, whatnot, right? And now you're, you're, you're actually training people. So, so yeah. talk to us a little bit about that. Like, like what, what kind of clients do you have? Do you have competitors or are they mostly like lifestyle clients? Just lifestyle. So, okay. My huge thing is like, we work out and we eat healthy because it makes us feel good. We want to feel good and we like it. Like, so it's like, not that it's like a lax approach, but it's more of like, I'm doing this to make my life better. Like not, not to take over my life, but just like to add to my life type thing. Like all my clients are, are girls like 23 to 29. And it's just like girls that just like want to look and feel better. Um, and I'm just, I just teach them, you know, how to work out. I teach them how to eat, like what's good, like about macros, like meal, the meal plan approach, the macro approach, just like everybody's so different. Like some of my clients, like, like one of my clients, like loves wine. She's like, I need my wine. So like we have it where she gets her wine. She gets her wine two times a week and like, she still makes progress. It's like, people think you have to be so crazy. Like you can't have carbs, you can't drink, like you can still have a life and make progress. It's just like little decisions every day, you know? So it's more of like a, a lax approach, but just like a lifestyle approach, like just to make your life better and add to your life. Definitely. And no, that's true. how to work out, get a nice point. Yeah. I mean, I think balance is so important and like moderation, willpower, I mean, these are all things and they, I think that they also, uh, I hate to say the word transcend because it sounds like we're, we're doing a college lecture, but they really, they do transcend uh, fitness in general. If you, if you have willpower, moderation, if, if you make the right decisions by yourself, uh, you know, these are things that, that, you know, could translate into your, your work life, your relationships with your friends, your significant other. I mean, it's just so many things and fitness yeah. is a great template to like really learn some really good life lessons. So, yeah. yeah. I've been like thinking about it too. Like, like, I always tell my clients, like, if you want something really bad, like, I want you to have it. But, like, if you, you just, like, continuously, like, eat garbage and, like, drink all night and, like, waste your entire day sleeping, like, how, do, how does it make you feel? Like, you want to feel like that? Like, so just teaching them, like, teaching them, like, what's going to make them feel good. It's like somebody offers you, like, I don't know, like, a cookie. And you're like, mm. I, I, I don't really want a cookie right now. Like, no thanks. And it's not like I can't have that. It's like, I just don't really want it. You know, like if you right. want a cookie, like by all means have your cookie, but just like, like teaching them just like that, like everybody has like their own balance. Like 
that's my thing because I know like I got lost like in like dieting like I I hated the gym like I hated dieting like because it was just it was too much it was overkill so my right. thing is like teaching people that like bodybuilding is awesome makes you feel good right. like, eating healthy is awesome it makes you feel good like your life is just better when you take care of yourself you know right no I mean totally I mean what's the point of doing any of this if you don't love it I mean like Exactly. Like you're not, you know what I mean? Like, you're not going like, to, like, save the world. You're not supposed to, like, care. This is not supposed to be the cross that you carry around your life. This yeah. should be something that you enjoy. And so you you help people have that cookie, not an artificial cookie with, like, fake sugar alcohols, the real deal, but just know when to have it, when do you really want it, and then other times you could say no. Some people will just say yes because, you know, they think it's, like, quote, unquote, the polite thing to do. But you can say no and still be polite, you know what I mean? And still feel great. And, and you know, it's just life lessons. Again, life lessons, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and again, I, I think that um, you being so personable really helps. Because I think some people also, I don't want to say it's hand-holding because it's not hand-holding, but some people, they do enjoy accountability. They want to hold themselves accountable, but they also want to be able to, like, have a coach that they can yeah. say, look, you know, I did this, this, and this. You know, they, they like that. It's, uh, I don't know how to yeah, explain that, but. I mean, it's huge thing. too. Like, we're all human. Like, having a coach makes such a big difference. Like, like even for me, like, I mean, I'll be at work and, like, everyone's taking shots and I'm just like, yeah, it looks fun, but I, I'm checking in tomorrow. Like, I don't want to, like, have a bad check in. Like, it's just like, it just kind of, like, puts things in perspective for you. It's like, do I, do I need to take a shot right now? No, you know, I'm fine. Like, it's not like it's someone's birthday and I'm being lame. Like, right. and, just and, like little things like that. Yeah. And that, in worst case, you can have some seltzer water or a Diet Coke. I mean, it's like, whatever. If you absolutely must, you know, like, you know, cheer something. But um, so tell me about the products, because I have to know, uh, you clearly love to train. Clearly. I mean, like yeah. you, you, you're, you just you, you glowed when you earlier said somebody said you were Jack, which is great. I mean, that's awesome. So what, what are your favorite products, like your go-tos? Like it could be like your, I don't know, your top five, your top three, or your like yeah. absolute favorite product. Like what? what so would that my, okay. I love so many. So I would say my favorite before I train Halo Elite and Hype Reloaded together. Because like I said, like I'm, I'm a lanky, like I'm like five, eight. I'm like a skinny, tall girl, like. When I take Halo Elite and Hyper Elite together and, like, I, I'm doing, like, my lateral raises, like, just, like, the awesome pumps I get, like, when I'm, like, shoulder pressing, like, even, like, glute kickbacks, like, you just get such a good pump with those products combined. Like, you get your sweat on, like, that is, like, my go-to. And whenever I don't have my Halo or my Hyper Reloaded, I'm like, mm, can't work out, gotta go home and get it. Like, right. it, no, it makes a huge difference. So, Halo and Hype, definitely pre-workout. And then, um... I really, I really like Harmonize. Me and PJ were actually talking about this today. I was texting him and I was telling him like, yeah, I'm going to get my period. Um, like, I feel like bloated and like meh. And he's like, have you been taking your Harmonize? And I'm like, yes. Um, and like, since I started taking Harmonize, like, I mean, I got my period back. Like, my skin, like, I do not have a skincare routine. Like, I don't even like wash my face. I just like wipe with baby wipe. But like, my skin's like always glowing. Like, my hair is healthy. Um, I have so much energy, like even before, like when I was like super lean and like not just feeling myself, like I had like no sex drive, like harmonize has just like helped me so much. Like, and I know it has because there have been times where I've run out and I'm like, Oh my God, like you could, you feel it. You're like moody. It, it just like helps keep everything balanced. So yep. harmonize is another one that I recommend to like every single girl. And then one more, um, Trojan horse. I love Trojan horse. I love that, yeah. Yeah, every morning, every night I take it. Um, I love the sweet tea flavor. Um, and that's another one too, when I don't take it, like I, I literally feel it. Like I feel like, like heavy and like watery. Like also it helps with my water intake. Like I have the big shaker cup every morning. Like before I eat, I drink that. And it's just like a part of my routine. Um, awesome non-stone fat burner another one i recommend to like all my clients i'm like if you're gonna get anything get the isolation and get the harmonized Is isolation is another one that i love the chocolate that's is my favorite i make brownies every morning and night with the isolation that's awesome that's great no and i love the so chocolate like like it's for me it's a tie and i i, I don't know if i'm pronouncing the the fruit correctly but it's between black currant and the sweet tea 
it's like really a tie. I love them both. The yeah. lemon one's good, but it doesn't touch the black currant. Yeah, and the I don't sweet really like the lemon. To me, one. the black currant is, is like amazing, and the sweet tea is like, yeah. it's like. The sweet tea is just like the sweet tea from McDonald's. The only difference is the one from McDonald's probably has like a cup of sugar in it. Yeah. And, and the truck has none. And I've always, even as a kid, like my mom would buy like the 12 packs of brisk iced tea. And like, I would drink like four a day and she would get right. so mad at me. Like I love iced tea. So it's like, I get my iced tea. And then at night, PJ has me, has me mix it with Metamucil, which is orange. So it's like, it's just like a really good blend. Like It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a virgin drink that you might serve at a bar or something. Yeah, you yeah. can totally have like, like a straight it. Out. Yeah, that's very cool. So tell me how you say your last name because I, I, it's, is it? How do you think you say it? Is it Gianelli? Yeah, Gianelli. Perfect. Yeah, it's so Italian. I love it. I just, I, Anna Maria Gianelli. It's like, it's like <laughs> out of a movie or something. You know what I mean? Like seriously, I, I love it. It's it rolls great. off the tongue. <laughs> huh? I said it just rolls off the top. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. It, it sounds like a song. It's like I want to just start singing like, uh, I don't know, it's just like an <laughs> opera. It's fantastic. It's yeah, and Anna fantastic. Maria is like my, my first name. Like everyone thinks Maria is my middle name. Like Anna Maria is actually mm -hmm. my name. So it's like, no. I'm like I got a cool name. <laughs> yeah, it's a package deal. Yeah, you can't. You're not just Anna. and You're not Maria. You're Anna Maria. So yeah. that's perfect. That's perfect. Well, listen, I, I had a, a, a lot of fun. I don't know how long we've been going. I know, I know I told you like 10 to 15 minutes, but I'm pretty yeah. sure we've been going longer. But yeah, uh, it sounds like your, your best friend fell asleep again, so that's good. But um, I think it's great you're in Florida, and I think you're going to love it. Jared said you've already been to the Blackstone Labs gym, which is very cool. And um, my gosh, what a great time to, to be in Florida. You're going to have the Arnold. You're going to have the Olympia. The Nationals are always down there. You got black zone there. You got, I mean, I don't know if, if, if you've ever shot with orangutan, but that guy is so freaking cool. Like whenever yeah, people post me a and picture, TJ, we're, we're working on planning that too, getting that going oh, man. soon. Like that while I'm so, still like in like off season shape. Yeah. I hate to sound like someone from Boston, but that'd be so wicked cool for you to get a shoot with that guy and just like yeah. block it everywhere. You know, that would be so cool. And you can do, and now the black zone labs gym. I mean, look, I mean, Jared says they've got some like like insane plans for that place. I mean, it's a really nice gym. So and the, yeah. and the good thing too about it is it's limited access. It's not just anybody off the street can come mm -hmm. in, which is good because you know that I I think it's just perfect. It's yeah, perfect and it's so cool because like my favorite color is red, and like you just walk in there and like it's everything's red and black. It's so yes. awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. And of course, a big kudos to uh, Larry Dubin and Vanessa Hernandez because you know they built yes. this thing. Uh, Derek yeah. Moulton told me they basically built it one weekend. Like everybody yeah. went home, they stayed, and when everybody came back, they were built. So that's yeah. that's insane. Hilarious. Like the fact, like all the equipment came, and PJ sent me a picture of the boxes. I'm like, oh my god! They had like everybody there. Like Marissa was there, Derek was there. Like everybody mm -hmm. was just unwrapping Sammy. Like, and they yeah. they did it literally three days. Like insane. That's so cool. So cool. So, so I want to thank you uh, again. Thank you so much. And, and the interview is now complete because Kim Fitass Haynes joined us. So there it's just totally complete now that everything's perfect, but I, I really, really want to thank you uh, for doing this. And I, I think I, I asked you this morning or last night, I'm not sure, but you just incredible response time. And I just think honestly, like you, you got so much going on. I mean, you know, from the stage, personal training, living in South Florida, so close to Blackstone Labs, and, uh, and you know what, and the last thing I'm gonna say too, I think that through your efforts as a coach, I would be absolutely shocked if a handful of your lifestyle clients didn't become competitors themselves because they've got to see you and they've got to see how much you love the stage. I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive that that's gonna rub off on them. What do yeah, you think? I do have a few that are like, ooh, that looks, that sounds fun. I'm like, yeah. it is. <laughs> definitely, definitely, yeah. which I think is great. I think you're, you're really, I think with your personal training, you're inspiring a lot of people. I think that's really, really important too. Yeah, and I think too, too I just want to show people like the other side of it. Like it, it is fun. Like it does make your life better. It's just like, it's just your approach. Oh. No, totally. hundred percent, hundred percent. So much. Yeah. And I can tell, yeah, I'm back. Yeah, it just, it just froze for a second. But it's it's the iPhone. You know, the iPhone feels the need to tell me that I have 20% left. Uh, it's <laughs> oh, the okay. iPhone. It's like the iPhone is to me is so precious. I love it. I'll never go to Droid. I don't know if you have a Droid or not. Nope. I have an iPhone. Okay, yeah. But I love iPhone. And the thing is, is like, 
I think the dumbest thing about the iPhone is like, if I say, I'm not going to say it because she's, she's going to stop this. But if I tell her, like, I want to go somewhere, she'll like, she'll like give me the address and there'll be like this green go button. I'm like, if I'm asking for the addresses, obviously I want to go there. Why do I have to like, you know, it's like just, I don't know. It's just like really dumb, but they take some amazing pictures, you know? And it's like, I, I've taken pictures that shows uh, that are better than what a photographer takes with like a giant setup, just with a phone, a phone and the light, you know? So, mm -hmm. and uh, we got, we got Jen Strobo in the house, which is like, Hi, she's like a superstar. Like, absolutely Dude, I know shoulder yeah. goals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. So again, um, I want to thank you very, very much uh, for taking the time. For Anna Maria, it's a package deal. It's not just Anna, it's not just Maria, it's Anna Maria. Thank you for having me. Gianelli, Christian Duke, strengthbags.com. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.